Hey yo, what is up guys and welcome back to FPL Central. In today's video it begins my countdown to FPL. We are 8 days away, I will be uploading every single day guys. Hopefully I will try and stay to that. So we will. Be, I know it is 8 days but I'll be getting 7 videos out because I will not be, of course, I won't be uploading on the day that FPL returns, the Premier League is back. So we'll be uploading on Christmas Day as well guys. Um. I don't expect people to watch it, but anyway, it's there for any and you guys entertainment and to help you out. So in today's video, we've got my first draft with the unlimited transfer. So let's get straight into that. So here is my first draft team, guys, for FPL game week seventeen. Uh, we're going with a four, a three four three formation, with Ederson and Gold, some great fixtures for Manchester City. Uh, you would expect him to keep a clean sheet against Leeds, who have been struggling a bit this season. At the back, we're going with William Saliba, Trippier, and we're bringing in Dallow into the team. Some brilliant fixtures there for Manchester United. He, he, They've got good three fixtures there. No double game weeks as of yet. I'm not sure if they will have one. But uh, Forrest, Wolves, Bournemouth, three great chances to keep clean sheets. And, of course, he could get in a, a good attack in return as well. Into the midfield, we're going with the GOAT of this season, Miguel Almiron. Uh, we're going to be sticking with uh, Saka and Martinelli. Saka had a decent World Cup, so hopefully he can continue some of that good form in the West Ham game for Arsenal. May look at taking either one, maybe Martin Martinelli out of the team. Who knows? Um, This is only the first draft. Then we're bringing in Bruno Fernandes at 9.8 million. Of course, them three great fixtures. He's back on penalties, I would say, for Manchester United. he When he, Ronaldo doesn't play, he gets more into the box. He gets more chances on goal. And he's got a great strike on him, of course. Like Before Ronaldo joined, I believe he got 18 goals that season. The season before Ronaldo joined, like, he's, he was the GOAT of the nineteen twenty season when he signed in January for Manchester United. So hopefully he can come back to some of that. Um scoring returns there for Manchester United on FPL then up top we've got three goal machines we've got Darwin Nunes playing against Aston Villa I haven't as a Liverpool fan I haven't a great feeling about that game but some nice fixtures from game week 17 to game week 28 there's not a single red fixture of course a few tough games like Newcastle Man United Chelsea but of course Liverpool are a top team hopefully we get back to winning ways uh against Villa because we haven't had a great start to the season but hopefully we get back to win ways. Then we're gonna have Erling Haaland as captain. City with great fixtures. Um he scored he scored in the friendly, I believe against Girona. He's been missing he says he's been missing the Premier League, so I expect him to start scoring again. Two good fixtures, Leeds, Everton. Then a few tough tough fixtures, but of course it's Man City, the best team in the league. Erling Haaland, one of the best strikers on the planet. He's should have no problem scoring against Chelsea or Manchester United. Um then we've got Harry Kane for Tottenham against struggling Brentford side. He had a decent World Cup, of course he, he did miss the penalty. But like it's a penalty, it's a fifty fifty chance. <clears throat> uh, a few good fixtures there. Brentford Villa and Palace. Uh a double game week with against Arsenal, Man City now they them two are his favourite teams to score against, I do believe. So, you know, Harry Kane could be a good captain pick that week. Um, on the bench, then we're going We're going to stick with Danny Ward, of course. He didn't have a great World Cup, but if they don't sign a goalkeeper at Leicester, he's still going to be the number one, and he has had some brilliant form recently, uh, keeping some nice clean sheets. Then we've got Andres Pereira, Matt Target, and Timi Timothy Castagna. Now, my top process with this is going to be for game week 19 or 20. I'm not too sure. I will figure that one out in the future. Game week 19 or 20, I will use my bench boost because they've got some great fixtures and there's a double game week in there for some of them teams. So that's the team, guys. Uh, leave Tell me in the comments down below what you think of it, what changes I can make. Yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. If you really enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. FPL is returning pretty soon guys, so yes, peace.